All right, everybody, welcome back. For today's deep dive, we are talking about Red One. Mm -hmm. This is the upcoming holiday action comedy mm -hmm. starring The Rock and Chris Evans. Right. It's a Christmas movie. Yeah. But it's like, if Santa needed rescuing and Mrs. Claus was maybe hitting the gym and Krampus was a serious threat. So kind of a wild concept. Sounds like it. I have some intel here okay. from a file someone sent in. And uh, we're going to break it all down. All right. So the movie Red One is interesting. It's not just that it's an action comedy and it's a Christmas movie. It kind of taps into this feeling we're seeing a lot of these days, which is like holiday movie fatigue. Oh, yeah. Like how many times can we hear about reindeer and redemption and all of that? So Red One is kind of like, yeah. you know, that cousin that crashes the holiday party. Yeah. And like brings a little bit of adrenaline to the usual heartwarming stuff. So yeah. it could be a really smart move to capture that audience that wants something yeah. different for the holidays. You're so right. Audiences are definitely hungry for something new. Yeah. Let's talk about the characters in this Christmas adventure. <laughs> we have The Rock, who's playing Callum Drift, and he's Santa's bodyguard. Okay. But he's kind of like a jaded bodyguard. Interesting. And I'm picturing him tired of, you know, yeah. wrangling the elves and polishing the sleigh. Yeah. So he's ready for some action. Then we have Chris Evans, who's playing Jack O'Malley, and he is a sarcastic hacker. Oh, wow. So pretty far from an elf, I'd say. Definitely. And these two. <laughs> are gonna have to team up to rescue Santa from a witch named Grilla. Okay. And she's played by Kiernan Shipka. Okay. And Grilla has some pretty evil plans for the naughty list. So this is not your typical Christmas story? Not at all. There's no stocking stuffing or, you know, carols in this one. It's a globe-trotting rescue mission. Wow. Okay. So the movie seems to be taking a chance yeah. by trying to make a franchise out of this concept. Okay. You know, you have The Rock and Chris Evans. Yeah. And they each have Tunley fans. For sure. Plus, there's this mix of Christmas and action. It's a bold move, but it might work because we've seen holiday franchises before. Right, like Home Alone. Home Alone, the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus, yeah. And they kind of become part of our culture. They really And people watch them every year. All right. Red One with the action comedy thing could get a new generation of viewers who want a more exciting Christmas experience. I like it. I'm kind of getting a Jumanji meets Elf vibe from this. Oh, interesting. Because there's like a wild, chaotic adventure. Yeah. But then there's humor and Christmas magic thrown in. Okay. The sources say the tone is tongue-in-cheek. So it makes fun of some Christmas tropes, but still has action. It feels like a movie you can just enjoy and escape into, where anything can happen on Christmas Eve. I see. So it's going to be interesting to see how Red One balances, you know. Yeah making fun of Christmas traditions with still keeping the Christmas spirit. Can they have the action and the humor and the characters, right. but also keep that sense of wonder that people like about Christmas movies? That's the question. And I'm really curious to see if they pull it off. That's a really good point. It is a gamble. What do you think? Do you think Red One could become a classic? Mm. Would you want to see a Christmas movie with a little chaos in it? Maybe even a Santa who knows Kung Fu? Uh, I, I'm ready. I have my popcorn ready. Curious to see if they can pull it off. I love it. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into Red One. We'll be back soon with more. Intriguing breakdowns for you, 